Yes, yes, massive and crew, back once again with another video. Now, today's video is about answering a quick question from the man like uh, Stephen Owen. He says, hi, what is the difference with HXC and using Omniflow? I've been using HFE to convert samples, but when they're converted, they sound awful. Would it be better to use HXC on my GoTech? It's driving me insane. Thank you in advance. So the biggest question people ask is, can you save a WAV or can you export a WAV, put it onto your USB and put it into your HXC? The answer for that is no. You cannot do that. The HXC emulator is for reading virtual floppies. So we're gonna talk about that now. Well, I think, to be honest, no wonder it's driving you insane. I think what's going on here is that, to be totally honest, uh, let's back it up a bit. So, it says, hi, what's the difference between HXC and Omniflop? Okay, so, as far as I've always understand, now, I'm just telling you from my experience, maybe it's a bit different. Uh, I know that HXC software can convert disks, I believe, but you need to have a, the correct drive installed. Uh, um, in your system. Now, forget about that anyway for timing. Dash that out of the way. I'm just gonna tell you what works for me. So, here's the deal. So, okay, let's answer the first question. The difference between HXC and Omniflop is HXC is software, not Bixie. HXC. I didn't understand that. Shut up. HXC, yeah, is, sof is software that you use for converting. Um, oh, this bloody. Okay. Shut up. Do one. All right, let me turn this off until after the video. Turn my bloody phone off. It's always listening to what I'm saying. Right, so where was I? So, the difference between HXC and Omniflop. Right, so HXC is software that you use to convert Omniflop images into a format that your GoTech understands. Now, depending on what software you've got in your GoTech, if you've got Flash Floppy, yeah, as far as I know, and there's rumor has it, when you're using Omniflop, you would turn your disks into a, a disk image that is .akai format. .akai format is the best format to use a disk with HXC software. Now, I believe it's called the HXC emulator software. That's the software that the HXC emulator come with. Now, I've done a video on this. Once it's an Akai disk, you then convert it to an HFE format. So that this, using Flash Floppy, can actually read the disks. This doesn't read samples. Let's get that straight from the start. This reads disks. You can't save WAVs directly onto the USB and put it into the sampler because it won't work. It has to be on a virtual floppy, which is something that you save on the sampler to the virtual floppy. You can't save stuff to a virtual floppy from your PC. I didn't understand. That. This stops you from needing these. It creates virtual floppies. The samples from your sampler are then saved onto the virtual floppies. HFE is not a sample format, as far as I understand. It might be for some riddly d skiddly do skiddly dat d flipping sampler somewhere in the, on the earth or software on the earth, but it's not for Akai. So no wonder if you saved it to HFE and try to play it, play it back as a sample, it will probably sound like R2D2 being strangled or run over by a train because it's not. It's going to sound like code, some <laughs> Spectrum 64 code. That's my uh, philosophy behind how it would, how that would work. So the idea is you're creating disk images. I am ripping this to digital format. My idea is that. I've got hundreds of disks, thousands of disks, and I'm going to compress them all down into this little thing here. This is a USB stick. All my disks are now USB disks. Imagine if you're using Nero, Nero CD-ROM, or if you're on the Mac, you're using Disk Utility, and Disk Utility you're using to convert your CDs into ISO or .NRG, yeah? They're image files. That is what Omniflop does. It creates in the image for in the files, image files, right? Those image files are probably a few megabytes size. 
and they're, they're known as raw image files. Raw image files, meaning, as far as I understand it, raw image files are image files that the computer doesn't even, maybe doesn't even read. It just keeps it in its raw state, whatever, or if, it's, if it doesn't recognize the format, it doesn't care. It just, just takes a picture of the disk. Now that raw format, which is .akai or .img, yeah, would be used in your GoTech. Your GoTech reads raw image files. That's all it reads. So it's reading a raw image file of your floppy disk. That raw image file, if you want, you can put it back into OmniFlop and you can write it back to disk to create a physical disk. Virtual disk, IMG, Akai, physical disk, like this. People get really confused. They get so confused with the HXC emulator. If you want to transfer samples from your computer to your Akai, you have to get a SCSI cable and do it through Recycle or Mesa PC, one of those uh, bits of software. But you can't do it through saving it onto your onto this. This is not some USB stick that you, you save a sample to HFE format and it will read. No, that's nah. That's, that will, that's dangerous, that, that won't work. You'll be there all day, you do your ears in when you try to play back the sound, it'll sound mad. But you wouldn't want to create a physical disc because these discs are like rocking horse crap and half of the ones that you buy out, out uh, these days uh, are probably going to be crap and don't work properly. Hence the reason for unlimited floppy disks because once you've got a blank disc, you can format the disc on your Akai, save it in here onto uh, a .hfe file and then put that hfe file on your computer and copy as many of those discs as you want and reformat them and use them and you never need discs again so don't try to save samples using hfe because i don't even know what format that is that's just some some next level futuristic or doesn't even exist format yeah so once again it's for reading disk images. You, you replace your old floppy drive with it. Your old Akai, you replace your old Akai floppy drive, wherever that is. You take it out and you put one of those in. You're replacing this, which reads floppies, for this, which is an HXC emulator, which reads disk images not samples, images of discs with samples on them. You cannot put a sample onto a .img file unless you put it, unless you save it on here with your Akai. It's just really that simple, dude. So I hope that clears it up for you. Um, if you guys got any questions about Akai music technology, any questions you got down below, I just want to say big up to people. We've hit 8,000 subscribers now, and I intend to get to 10K, which is the next milestone, or 9,000, which is the next milestone. And I just want to say thank you guys for participating. Comment down below. Consider joining, becoming a member of the channel, or supporting me on Patreon so I can do this full-time. That's it for today's video. Take care. God bless. Peace.